Track 7. Unit 6. 6.2. Exercise 1. 1. I'd buy a Seychelles Blue Bentley convertible. I'd buy a nice fat house in Holland Park. I'd get a lovely big house in the countryside. I'd buy a beautiful house in Spain with swimming pool, palm trees, that sort of thing. I'd get a flat in Manhattan, probably.、Um, I'd also have a permanent chef, top of the range chef, who could cook all different types of food, so I could have whatever food I wanted whenever I wanted it. I'd have my own personal masseur. Two. I think I would just alter my life entirely. I love the sun, and a Caribbean holiday stands out in my memory. Surrounded by clear turquoise sea, so I think I'd buy a yacht. And as I don't know anything about、um, sailing, I'd have to buy a crew as well. So、um, I, I'd get I'd get this luxurious yacht and a, a very skilled crew, and probably a skilled cook who would just take me all around the world, going from hot spot to hot spot, so I could have a really great time. Three. Well, I know I'd have a problem with having all that money. I, I think it is a problem, really, in some ways, because、uh, you you have a sort of social responsibility, and there are all kinds of people who you need to help, which I would want to do very much.、Um, so, of course, I'd sort out my debts, my families. But in the end, I think what I'd do is buy, depending on how much money I had, buy a huge house, really massive house, somewhere in the country, and just surround myself by all the people I want to be with,、um, and people who perhaps never had a chance to. Get out into the country at all. Four. Again, depending on how many millions I won,、um, it would change what I would or wouldn't do with it. Frankly, if it was a lot, I mean five million upwards, sort out my own debts, which God knows are bad enough. Sort out the family's debts and then invest as much as possible and just try and live off the interest. Keep it there, nice little nest egg, growing and growing and growing, developing. Flowering bountifully, and holiday, get away, move, anywhere but cold Britain.